Okay, I'm continuing from the last video that I just did um, using black and white clip art to vectorize it and, and make something with it. This is the same image, and I wanted to show you, um, if you're in the Pro software, some of the things that you can do with this, um, just in case you're not familiar with this. Um, you don't have to leave things the way they are. I can click on this. I can click on papers and it brings up paper textures and if I wanted to I could change the color this way. I have to take off the line color to make it look better. Um, you might not want this for Valentine's Day so it wouldn't have to be red but if you did there's different shades that you can choose from. I kinda like that because then that way I could make my birds white find something else on here and there's different types this one here is called birthstones cardstock there is bling which is for some reason there it is coming up now um, maybe I want my birds to be shiny take off the yellow take off the yellow again do the same thing with this one This one's separate. Oh, I'm trying to get that little tiny feather there and click on. I think my mouse is starting to go because <laughs> I'm moving it and it's not moving the way I want it to. And let's make this a different color. Or maybe they make it the same color. So that's kind of pretty. Um, let's get that little line. There we go. Take the white off. And what's nice about this is perhaps you don't have time to cut all these pieces and, and make things. So instead, and Christine went on the craft room was the one who had suggested this, which I think is a great, oh, I can't get that little tiny string. Um, I think it's a great idea. Let me try it this way. I think it's going to turn that little um, feather back. Yeah, see it made the little tiny feather black. I got that encompassed. Um, let me go back and make that white again. Um, <clears throat> but one of the suggestions she had made is what you could do is actually print this out and do a printing cut. Um, which there are lessons on the website at puzzles.net that teach you how to do that. So, you know, it's just something simple that you can do um, without having to go through a lot of bother. And I think this would be really pretty. Um, you could also open this up in um, any of the art programs and, you know, change these. And you can also import your. Um, your pages, like if you have paper that you really like a lot, um, you can actually import that in here. And that'd be another lesson entirely. And then you can save that and print it out and do whatever you want with it. So, and by do the way you would do that is to scan your paper um, into your computer. Um, these are just some suggestions of things that you could do. And I just wanted to share that with you with this particular lesson. And next I'm going to be going to vectorizing color images. This was a black and white to start with. So I'm going to stop this recording now. Um, this goes with the last one that just had. Um, it was with black and white vectorization or something to that effect. So this will be like number two when you see it.